Let's go to church, y'all. current system so we've got oh we don't even have two we have an original 24d so we're gonna go three u plus a single u for our new network system yep we'll be able to pack that in we've got wireless over there One, check, one, two, hey, hey, hey. I need a little bit up here. Out front's probably good. Check, check, a little more out here if you got it. Hey, you want? the boys at the church are doing a great job things were sounding good for that terrible room and the band is definitely nervous about the new mixers I'm headed out now I'm headed out way early they just started service um, I am running out and I'm going to get back to the house we're gonna try and get these personal mixers working and working well because they're nervous about them and uh, they were talking about trying to wait another month before I make the switch and I'm like I don't know you know I don't know if I can I don't know if I can do that so we are headed back let's get these personal mixers fired up and ripping All right, uh, 2.22 p.m. and I have finally figured out how I can get uh, all 64 channels, well, their names, into the live mix uh, personal mixer here. I've named a couple, check, test, one, two. Um, so I've just proof of concept that I know what I'm doing finally. Um, but now here comes the hard part. I have to... I still have to figure out how to get a direct out from the DM7, a channel direct out into the Dante network. It'll be easy to figure out as soon as I get pointed in the right direction. And then once I know how to do that, then I can figure out, um, you know, addressing kick to a channel, labeling it in Dante, and then exporting it to this and uh, organize it in a way that it totally makes sense. Um, fun stuff, my boys, fun stuff. Anyway, I got lucky, I went into the, uh, so, bang, bang, bang. So if you open up like the gain section, you see something like this, and this is what was throwing me off, and then I was like, 
I don't need to see, okay, 12 doesn't give me an option. 12 channel D out. Okay, so you can, here you can set the uh, uh, the direct outs. And so Dante, one, two, three, um, and then right here I can say I want that to be four. And then I think I also have to say on. And then point, pre-filter, pre-filter, pre-dynamic, pre-fader. So now I should have channels, Dante channels one through 12. Bam, 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 coming out of this. So, yeah, I just electrocuted myself. Hey, one, so I've got channel one there. Hey, one, two, I've got nothing there. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Also though, I probably have no gain. I see no signal. I see nothing, nada, de nada, nothing. Hey, hey. Uh, oh, wait a minute, I'm in two. So let's try gaining up two there. Hey, hey. And then look at that, in two I have signal. If I jump over to three, I have three, sweet. Four has phantom power on it, four is messed up. I think I just clipped four, now it's tripping. Uh, wait, where am I? Five, 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 five. Check one, 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 one. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, have I not done five? I don't think I've routed Dante. I don't think I've routed uh, channel five in the Dante. So I better get to that. I think I've got the direct outputs finally working. I have to go through and open up the preamps just a little bit so that way I can see the tiny signal lights on this. Then I'm channel naming. And then, guys, as long as I have the desk channels labeled onto this thing and I'll put my signal generator through the inputs, guys, I'm done. It's install time. But I also have to like pack up and put everything in all of these boxes again, maybe bust out one more solo and see if it um, loads properly. I wanna see if it has the channel names or if I have to do that setup as well. If I have to do that setup, I might bust them all out, do that setup so that way I don't have to do that and hope it works. To name your live mix solo Dante inputs, uh, you've got 64 channels. Here's how to do it fast. One is uh, open up your Dante controller. You might have a newer version that's uh, like a dark mode, but essentially you have to go in the transmitter window. Okay, so transmitter up here. And in this case, I'm in the Yamaha DM7 here that's going to direct out to my uh, live mix rack Pro 16 here. Then it sends the signal to the live mix solo, Pro Solo. So what you have to do is you have to go into the transmitter. And you, if you look up here, I've got the names of all of the channels. So what I did is I double clicked right on the name of the DM7 in the transmitter section. Then, not in the receive. So there's a receive and a transmit. You wanna go over to transmit. Then go ahead and label the channels that you have there. Um, in my case, I'm going to be using uh, 64, right? And then, because the DM7 can go to 144, you could keep going, whatever. But for the solo, you need uh, 64 channels. You would use 64 channels. And so now you go over to your mixer 
And you can see right here, I just have generic uh, channel 51 and stuff, right? Nothing fancy. If we go into mix tools, and then we go into the setting icon, we have to do the channel setup. And we have to do CSV Dante uh, import. And it's right here. Import from Dante. Reading channel names. May take a moment. And mine actually did not work. Um, let's try next. Mine did not work. Let's go back. Import Dante names. I may have to refresh. Okay, let's uh, try this. I will go over, I will refresh that whole thing. Oh, I see the problem here. So I actually need to possibly, so Yamaha DM7, Live Mix Pro. So we're going to, do this. So make sure after you have changed all the names, after you've double clicked, you've gone in and you've changed all of the transmit names that you then patch and make a connection. Then when you go over here, oh, look at that. It's already, uh, it already went through and has found it. So I'm gonna hit import names. And uh, yeah, look, just like that. So now if I go to previous, yep. See, so there's my pastor handheld, our solo, and uh, just like that, we are in like Flynn. And uh, if we go, you know, all the way to 64, we are solid. So um, that is how to uh, patch your Live Mix Pro names. Okay, well, it is 5.22 p.m. I've got 64 channels going from the DM7 over to our uh, Live Mix um, Solo Pros. And I've got multiple groups set up and it's all seems to be working. And so I think it's time. I'm going to start putting things back in boxes and just packing up and getting ready for tomorrow's installation i sent a couple of videos of these um to the guys that are going to be using them tomorrow well tuesday and we scheduled a rehearsal time to try and do a line check um and it looked like i was going to have enough room to fit all of this in one rack hopefully i'm not wrong if i have to move this over to the other rack that shouldn't be the end of the world but Pretty big upgrade, pretty big upgrade. So um, watch the next episode to see it all go in and see how the day goes.